Five years ago at Park Lawn Elementary, we bought six small rope-tuned djembes. And as time goes by, from being played and humidity and temperature changes, the ropes loosen and the head loosens a bit. Fortunately, these drums, which are rope-tuned, come with extra rope. With the extra rope, you're expected to do what is called the molly weave, which is taking the rope and running it through the vertical ropes on the drum. So I'm going to demonstrate how you do the molly weave on a djembe. I was very fortunate when I was in school in Cincinnati, I was able to study with um, a master drummer, Ojinga Kamisi, and he taught us how to put on and tighten drum heads on djembes and other instruments. And so over the past couple years, I have built my own dununba and I built my own sangba. And so I did buy prepared goat skins and I had the metal rings and the roping to put the drum together. So what I'm gonna do today, I have my own small djembe that is rope tuned and again uh, I have a goat skin head that I put on over the weekend. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how you perform the molly weave with the rope to tighten the heads. As the rope weaves through the head rings there are always two parallel ropes. The purpose of the molly weave is to take the two that are adjacent and cause them to cross over each other. And it's actually a very simple maneuver, but it just takes practice. This is my center of the drum, and I'm starting on the front because when I'm finished, the extra rope that's left over, I'm going to hang beads on for some decoration. So I'm going to start with these two. So I take the rope and I put it underneath both that I want to tie or overlap. So I've gone underneath them both, then I go back over and underneath and pull it up, and then I've now caused them to overlap. So I'm gonna pull the excess rope through, and then we're gonna repeat the process. So the thing to keep in mind is it's under two, over one, under one. That should be about right. Here are the next two parallel. I'm going to go under two, over one, and then under one. And then pull the rope through. So there's two under two, over one, under one. There's three. And I'm trying to put it as much in the center of the drum as possible. Under two, over one, under one. Under two, over one, under one, and pull it through. Under two, over one, under one. Under two, over one, and under one. Under two, over one, under one. Under two, over one, under one. Under two, 
under 2, over 1, under 1. So I've just about made it all the way around, but I still need to go under 2, over this one, under that one, and pull it through, under 2, over 1, under 1. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to go one past this, I'm going to go ahead and run this one in between and through the next one, so they overlap. So, I'm now back to the center of the drum, and with the extra rope that I've got, I'm going to tie these together, and then I'm going to add beading to the rope. So now I've threaded the beads on. The head's been tightened and it's ready to play. I've shown you how to do and perform the Molly Weave. Hope you'll give it a try.